Many know his name but don't know what he looks like or how he became one of Nigeria's most sought after music video directors. Ladies and gentlemen, on Spotlight today we have Shesong Oguro. Enjoy. Shesong Ogunro is one whose name resonates more than his face in Nigeria's entertainment industry. And that's because he's one of those who work behind the cameras, ensuring music stars look their best. Happiness over happiness, yeah, no beef. You're the reason I'm alive. So my baby, if you want me to be your other, maybe you can be my Eve. Oh, don't ask my comma, so my bullet is a pipe. I'm begging on my knees, I want you to be my wife. I swear to God, baby girl, I need you in my life. Take a look. Ogunro, who has made his name in the industry as a top-notch music video director, started his career over a decade ago in London, visiting Nigeria to make TV commercials. However, a meeting with Nigerian music star D. Banj, who was still a part of the Mohit crew, changed the course of Ogunro's career. Yeah, that's how it all started. So we had a conversation and he wanted me to shoot something for him. Um, initially, I rejected it uh, because I wasn't really too interested in what was going on in Nigeria. The Afrobeat market was still on the rise. Um, but he managed to convince me to do the project for him um, and I shot the video uh, which was the song Suddenly and it became a, an instant hit because it was something that nobody had expected, nobody um, has ever seen or had ever seen a video like that before. Um, it was something new, something fresh and yeah, I mean the story just began there and everything just kind of spiralled from then on. Um, I shot tons and tons of videos for the more hits and the band in particular. Um, and all, all other artists kind of grew from that stage on. Although Ogunro made videos for other artists, his relationship with more hits became stronger, especially as songs from the label dominated the airwaves all over the country. I wasn't exclusive for more hits. Um, I wasn't signed to more hits. It was just a, a, a business deal that became a strong friendship, and um, I liked the fact that their music was the number one music at the time, and it made sense to shoot for the number one group at the time. So um, they kept bringing the work. I kept doing it. Um, they made it exclusive, they made it seem exclusive, um, but it was nothing, I mean, other people were able to approach me. I did work for other artists at the same time, but um, everybody only spoke about the, the Mohits and the, and, the, and the band work that I did at the time. One of such songs is the music collaboration with American star Snoop Dogg titled And Doubt. This is love, have a drink, now live it up, break it down, roll it up, pass it round, take a hug, feeling grand, milling hand, check the game, I'm still the man. Yeah, it stands out, it was, uh, it was an amazing experience. It was something that um, was new to me and to the band himself um, and to Africa as a whole, because it was one of the first times that a strong uh, international collaboration was ever done and a video was shot. Um, I mean, I'll always be grateful for that experience and for that opportunity and to be able to say I achieved something that epic in, in that sense. Because from there, other artists have now started doing videos and uh, collabing with other international acts. Um, and videos have been shot as well. So it gave, I think one of the things it did was it gave us as Africans a face internationally. It made people know that, you know what, apart from the music, we can also create quality international standard visuals as well. Um, and I'm happy to be part of that or to have been part of that so yeah
Other widely accepted videos directed by Ogunro include Oliver Twist, Fans Me by David O and Mick Mill. Gunshot by Ghanaian star Sako Die featuring David O. I come a little closer, make me go down. Oh, can I have your name and your number, please? I'd like to know where you reside. Baby, can you got me on my knees? As one of the most <laughs> sought after directors in the country, Ogunro says success did not come um, by chance. You have to be very patient. You have to be very strong willed. You have to know how to make people understand your idea and your vision and be able to allow them to understand that it is the way to go. Uh, what a lot of people tend to do is they tend to watch what the general public are doing and tend to just, if it works for A, B and C, they feel that's the way and they kind of all copycat that, that, uh, that, that direction, um, going that direction. But what I tend to do is I'm not someone who's scared to do something different. I'm not scared to, to, to kind of go left when everyone is going right because that way you stand out. People will question it, but at the end of the day, who's to say what is right and what is wrong? Um, as long as it's uh, an original idea, as long as it's something that um, makes you stand out, makes you, makes people question or makes people talk about the work, then I think you're, I think you're doing something, something great. As long as you believe in yourself and you can make others believe in what you're doing. For one who has witnessed the boom of Nigeria's showbiz market, Ogunro has concerns about how stakeholders make profit on investment, a setback he hopes to address. There's, there's not a lot of opportunities for the new acts, the new talented acts to flourish. Um, and even when they flourish, how did they get, how did, I mean, it, it's, it's, a, it's a vicious cycle. So that's where I said I'm creating applications and new platforms for people to actually monetize and make money from their content, no matter how uh, uh, kind of unknown or how known you are, there's an, always an opportunity for you to make money somehow, even if it's the small 10,000 naira from your shows or to the guys who make 10 million naira from their shows. There's different platforms of making money, not just uh, uh, doing stage shows. Thank <laughs> you.